This dam is located on Coyote Creek, right downstream of Medcalf Road, off of Foursome Road, Medcalf City Park. Failing to remove these temporary dams almost causes a catastrophic flood within the homes of the Coyote Valley. February 9, 2017, Santa Clara Valley Water District in peril. Watching the equipment go in and attempts to take down the dam. Santa Clara Valley Water District continues to endanger the public by failing to comply under their permits to remove these temporary dams. And they look at the gates that help to bring down the flows, but the flows were so high watching the personnel scramble in the attempts to take down the dam. The flows were so high they had to abandon the segment, 25 foot segment of the dam laid in the pond. Once removed you could see the sections laying underneath the water and what is to happen as the storms arrive. And the, the segments that were left inside the pond and the ones that are stacked here these are the three uh, sections that were only able to be pulled out. The others are back in, plopped inside the pond area underwater. In the next three segments, you will see that this land is completely gone and these panels had to be rescued. February 17th, as the flows arrived in the evening and at Anderson Reservoir, water starting to come over from the little waves of the wind. Observing this footage, you could see the panels dangling in the air where the land is no longer there in the next five segments. Observing how they failed to monitor their facilities as the water arrived. This is looking at the fish ladder and the gates. Hundreds if not thousands of trees were sent downstream. Observing the giant debris dam made up of wood blocking the gate and up against the fish ladder. Observing 200 yards downstream. And there's two giant size log jams here the size of houses and they're Observing the uh, aftermath pretty evident Santa Clara Valley Water District happened. damaging their own multi-million dollar facility by failing to monitor their permitted the areas failing to observe them and keeping them clear of There's obstacles of observing the large 40-foot section abandoned in the water and the damage that it created. The section with the high flows, since it is cabled down still, slid upward and positioned itself like a ramp, damaging the multi-million dollar fish ladder, rendering it useless. As a junior hydrologist, to explain how most of the damage occurred here, you could see the water exiting from where the section was taken out and you could see the segment that was left behind has slid upward and then the gates that were clogged by the giant log debris dam and created this giant crater where the tractor drove over before. Observing the equipment go in Saturday, February the 25th as the damage had been done nobody was observed during the storm monitoring this facility and allowing this kind of damage to occur to their own facility.